I'm just going over a new feature for Funeral Press introduced in version 3.0.4. Um, this new feature allows you to set obituary photo schedules. Uh, and what that means is basically say there's a holiday and you want to change the photo of a user just for that holiday between two dates, um, you can do that now. For instance, we in the U.S. we have Memorial Day coming up. Um, a funeral home or a cemetery w might want to change to a uh, service photo for uh, the deceased and um, you can do that by visiting the uh, schedules area. So go to the dashboard, uh, go to obituaries, and there's a new section under obituaries called obituary photo schedules. And uh, we're going to add a schedule and call it Memorial Day. Um, you can put a description here. And you can set it so it's only for veterans or um, if you don't check this box, it'll it'll apply to everybody. So um, since this is a veteran holiday, we're going to click that box. Um, you can also enable and disable this. Um, but right now we'll set the uh, dates. We'll set um, our current dates today just so we can see it. But uh, we would select um, May if this was Memorial Day. Um, so click save. And that's going to add our schedule. And you can go in and disable this at any time. Or re-enable re it. So let's just enable it. Okay, so now that we have that, um, we're going to want to edit an obituary. So let's find a veteran, I believe. Uh, this is one here. Um, yep, we have a veteran. And now we'll see this new section here for a Memorial Day photo. Um, and you can add multiple schedules and multiple photos, and these will save. Um, so let's add a photo here. Saving Private Ryan photo. Click Save. And on the front end, we should have our new photo. Yep, there it is. So this photo will automatically turn on and off between those set days, um, and then you can change the date, and it'll it'll um, apply next year as well, or whenever you, whenever you want. You know, say you want to change it to um, Labor Day weekend or whatever, um, you can change the date then. Um, you can add multiple schedules. Um, the only thing you don't want to do is conflict schedules because it's just going to take uh, whatever the first one is um, in order by name. So um, just make sure the dates don't conflict. And then uh, that's about it. If you have any questions, reach out. Um, again, this is only available in version 3.0.4. So um, if your license is expired, you'll need to renew to get this new feature. Thanks.